G'day legends, welcome back to another Friday Hour of Install. Now this week, we're at a special place. We are at the Brisbane RNA Showgrounds, setting up for the Brisbane show. Now, we wanted to film this last week, but we we're way behind, so here we are. So of course, with every install, first thing you need is a beer. Cheers, legends. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's a good job. I've been off the piss for a week to make sure I got ready for the show and didn't get it all bad. Now, I did lie, it's actually Thursday, but we're calling it Friday. So, obviously you're here because Jimny JB74 Cargo Barrier. First rule here, this is not tested on the XL. It's only for the shorty, so the three door. So do not try and put it on your XL yet. Um, give us, probably, yeah, give us a few weeks and we should have an XL one sorted. So do not put this one on the XL because we have not tested it, please. <laughs> so, you got a whole bunch of cool bolts and stuff for the install. So we'll go through them as we go. Now, you really only need 10 mil spanners for this bad boy. It's a good little install. Now, the next thing to touch base on is actually, uh, the shirt's a bit tight to be fair. It's like, uh, it's going to be interesting. We've got two different brackets. The reason being, if you have our pockets, so if you have a little storage pockets in the side, which Al will cut in right now for you to see, you need this bracket here because it's going to bolt into that. However, before you buy this product, if you haven't, if you've already had ours for a little while, you will need a new one. So you need to let us know. And then we're going to give you a new bracket, a new front to your storage pocket. But if you buy storage pockets and this, you'll need this bracket. If you don't have storage pockets, you need this bad boy here. But both these will come in the packet. So it's all good if you buy the storage pockets later. You can swap it out for this one. Just don't lose it. All right. So that's that bit taken care of. Put that over here. So we're going to do these two pieces first. We're gonna leave this one off and put this one on in the car. We're gonna bolt these two together. And we're going to simply head to the top. Look, ah, beer. Now, this is why beer comes in handy. Don't you spill my beer. Look at that, so we need to prop it up. So this is why you must be drinking your beer when you do this. Because, prop it up. But the problem is you have to do it really fast so you can have another sip or go get a second beer. Hey Steve, just poke around here, look at this. Look at it. This is an engineering marvel. The beer can is the perfect height. Now either, either the beer cans are an engineering marvel, or we're engineering masters, and we engineered it to suit a beer can because we're piss racks. You take the pick. <laughs> so we're gonna nip these bad boys up. Get him, get him pretty close, and then what you need to do here is before you go mad tight, is we just wanna Get these flanges, so two flanges here. Just want to get them lined up nice. Nice and beautiful. We'll do another one down here and we'll do the same. Let me go do them all. Perfection. Kind of, kind of perfection, but we're here now. Do the other end. Them nipped up and then we're good. The bash them in the car. Bit hard to get the old rattle gun in there. Normally, there'd be a rattle gun on this bad boy, but it's a bit hard to get it in. Righty yo! So let's go to the vehicular, but right after we get a well-deserved drink. Hmm. Righto, so next part of this, up the top here, if you haven't got our roof console, there's some actual M M6 threads behind here that we're gonna utilize and bolt the top to. I'm gonna come down here and there's another one in here. There's another one down there. So there's no drilling, no, no modifying, no nothing. Nice and simple, they're all captive nuts. Obviously we got a hell of a lot of stuff already bolted in. Um, 
I, I cannot pull it out today and do it on its own because we just don't have time. But it's very simple, you'll find the spots. So we're also using this bracket. Oh yeah, that one there for this side because we've got the battery. So if you've got the battery mount in here, it doesn't matter, you just use a normal bracket. And then we're using that one because we've got the storage pocket on that side. Um, yeah, so let me get the cargo barrier. So in this step, oh, come on, Steve, get in here. So, so in this step, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, old CIA hitman, is if you've got the roof console and you're gonna back these bolts off, which we've already half backed off earlier. Oh yeah, they're ready to go. So you're gonna back them bolts up or you're gonna put a bolt up in there. So, well, we put the bolt in there anyway. So we've got it slotted at the top. So if you don't have this in to back them off, put the bolt in, half start it, then you can just slide this on like we're doing now. We're gonna go, oh, well, what's the stuff like that? We're gonna go straight in, sir. The slot's on there nicely now. So it's in there, we're gonna leave it loose because like, like all our installs, everything needs to be nice and loose so it's easy. We're gonna grab our nuts out of bracket. Right, so we're gonna get our nuts out of bracket here. We're gonna put it on like so. So you get one started. There's a good ab work out this one. Get the second one. Actually, I don't know if it's the right and wrong way, but we're about to find it out. Righto, so if you take a look here, we've got a, a whole series of captive nuts. So the very front captive nut right there is where we bolted that bracket to, which is now going to bolt into here like so. So I lied, you also need a former Allen key to put this in place. Which is all good for us. So what I might do now is I might put the bottom bit in just so I can get all this lined up a bit better because it's all trying to fall out and stuff. And then we can lock it at the bottom at the front here and then we're good. Now the other thing to note, if you've got our cargo platform, at the front here there's a brace that runs across the front. That now gets deleted, is that right? Yep, that now gets deleted. And we re this is where this thing comes down and bolts in. Beautiful. So I've made the executive decision before I put that bracket on to help me out. Just gonna pull this forward and tighten this bad boy up because it's giving me a little bit of grip. Oh yes! Someone's looked out for me. Beautiful, I'll get the other side. Now oh, we may need to obviously loosen that and straighten the top up after, but for now, it's going to hold it there and help us out. All right, so I'm going to hop in here because I'm short. Oh, this car's so high now, eh? It's so tall, man. So this bracket goes this way around. Let me just drop. Two in here. Perfect. And then the next step there, you see how I pulled the center? So you've got to actually lift up and then pull the center to get this sitting on top of there so it's all wedged back so it's going to be on that nice angle so everything else goes in so now i go around the other side uh, up i've got that lined up now Just pushed him back and The next step is when the camera catches up, it's just delayed reactions. So it's, um, we grab this bit. Now obviously flange with the holes going up. We bring that in. Now, get my bolts over here. And I'm actually feeling a little bit dehydrated. So I think we should have another beer, legends. Cheers. Mm. There's such a good drop. Steve stitched me up. We're going to be a bolt short. No, no, don't go there. So, nice and simple. Hold head to the top. Oh. 
sweet. So you put one this end, we'll go to the other end. Yeah, got him now, we're on fire. Oh. <clears throat> Right, eh? So we come to this side, pull the other side up. This is going to make your life easy because now you're not fighting it to get bolts in. Just pull this side up. Beautiful. Job done. Then we grab a few more and we just fill the bolt holes out and we tighten them up. And we So now we need to get the rest of the bolts in here now. And then it's a wrap, baby. That's our wrap after that. I'm going to get back to finishing the stand, so we're good to go for you legends tomorrow when you come to visit. We get the jelly rolls set up. The reason why jelly rolls aren't set up yet is because it's so high in the bloody air, I wouldn't be able to do the install. I'm going to stop drinking for a minute because if I keep drinking, productivity's out the window, let me tell you. There won't be 1 a.m. finishes and getting up at 5 a.m. to go at it again. <laughs> Production will be out the window. Oh, yep, I see. So you also just got to push it around to get it sitting where it needs to sit to line him up. Get him in there. A couple more bolts to put in. On the bottom here. So it's got to go up there anyway. And then that one will... Oh, yeah, perfect. It's going to get another... I'm short two 10 mil bolts. Steve's going to stitch me up. I get him. So, something I forgot to explain earlier was there's another bracket that goes in here. So if you haven't got the cargo platform, there's actually a bracket that comes in. You're going to bolt in here. So you're going to find, there's going to be like a little round plastic clip that you're going to pop out and you're going to, um, and you're going to pop that out and then you have a thread in there and you put your bolt in. Happy days. But for us, because we've got the cargo platform, we're just going to line up with, with the bracing Look at the bottom one, yeah. With the bracing one here, and put him in. So we push it back. Bottom slot as well. So you see all these slots here. We want the bottom one. That one up. So we'll just tighten that one up in there. And that's basically it. So we're going to go through now and just tighten everything up. Because we're there. We're at that point. Gonna work for me. It is, isn't it? Yeah, baby. Oh. All done. That's in. Come over that side. I know, so we get, oh, jeez, where'd that, where'd that nut come from? Oh, it came off there, right over, we're good, we're good. I was like, oh, shit. we've got nuts falling out, it shouldn't be. That would have been awkward. Doing an install, it all just falls to pieces. Got him. We got him. Now I'm just going to tighten up these two here. And then the ones on the back support. Oh, we're bloody good. We've got one over there. Right, now we've got this one here. Nice and easy. I'm already tighten this one. I might have already tightened this one, actually. But look, yeah, I did. Cool. So that's that done. Put them there. Last ones, we can get these two here. And this one here. Got him? Yeah. That is a wrap. Where's me beer? <laughs> we are done, legends. We are done. That is a wrap on this one. Now, as always, if you love this content, make sure you like, subscribe, leave us a comment down there below. Even if you didn't like it, I don't care. Leave a comment down there because it really helps us get some reach. It really helps us get the brand out there. And if you really, really love the product and the other stuff we do and you want to see it, down below in the description will be a link to the webpage. Head over there. And of course, if you like this content as well, this video here might interest you or this little one over here might interest you. And of course, grab a beer, sit back, relax, and we'll see you next time. Ladies, you.